We've been speaking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and when we come to visit him in the Blessed Sacrament what might be some of the sentiments that can flow from our hearts. And we spoke about utilizing an acronym which is a word with four letters expressing four different sentiments. The first letter A is we are called to adore the Lord. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. See as contrition. When we sin, we should tell the Lord that we're sorry. He is always waiting for us to forgive us. T we mentioned, mentioned is an attitude of gratitude. We should be thankful. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, for his mercy endures forever. The last letter is S. And this is supplication. We can be asking our Lord for many things. He said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be given to you. Jesus wants us to ask. Three specific intentions might flow out of our hearts. First, to pray for the souls in purgatory. They are longing for your prayers. To say a prayer for a soul in purgatory is a great act of charity, to alleviate them from their suffering, and to help them to get closer and closer to their eternal reward, which is heaven. So in your supplication, Ask the Lord to alleviate the souls in purgatory from their suffering. Second is, this is always very pleasing to God. As we read in the diary of St. Faustina, and we're hearing the message of Our Lady of Fatima, to pray for the conversion of sinners. Our Lady of Fatima says that many, many souls are lost because we don't have people that pray and offer up sacrifices for them. So pray for the salvation of sinners. We should love what God loves. What does God love? God loves more than anything else the salvation of immortal souls. As St. Thomas Aquinas says, one immortal soul is worth more than the created universe. So beg the Lord for the conversion of sinners. Last, beg the Lord for your own sanctification. Beg the Lord for the grace to avoid sin and to grow daily in his friendship. That you would grow to love God with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole soul, and all of your being. So we've given a summary of an acronym, ways in which we can approach our Lord and talk to Him. The acronym is ACTS. A stands for adoration. Let us praise the Lord. C stands for contrition. Let us tell the Lord we're sorry for our sins, as well as for the sins of the whole world. T, let us give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. And lastly, supplication. Let us beg for so many graces that we need. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, who change, who is intimate in our Lord's changing the water into wine, help us to really fall daily in love with Jesus Christ. Amen.